Hello and welcome to tutorial number 38 in the Microsoft Visual Basic .NET programming tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to go over how we would deal with errors using the try and catch now if you've if you're programming you've probably come over the Visual Basic error or whatever it says um, and it just your program crashes and it comes up with the details of the error doesn't look very professional and well in this tutorial we're going to go over how to fix those errors and by simply using the try and catch feet well not fix them, just like make your program not crash and deal with them. So just create a new project and call it try catch. Okay, so in a previous tutorial we covered how to download and execute a file. Well right here we're just going to create a simple um simple application that will run a file. Well, start a process and we'll just add a text box and a button and the button change the text to start process and we're good to go so double click start process and I'm just gonna say process dot start text box one dot text okay so we're going to build, well actually first we're going to save and save this to your desktop um, try catch it, yeah, save that and just build it and then I'm going to go to bin, release and here it is so let's see what happens if we try and start process And this doesn't exist, obviously, but let's just try that. So you'll get this error here. Unhandled exception has occurred in your application, etc., etc. It gives you the details, continue, quit. And this, this isn't pretty professional what you'd want on your application. So what we're going to do is use the try and the catch to just simply put, use a message box. Or we, we, we'd even make it not message box, but I think it's best that we use a message box to tell you that there's an error. So first of all we just simply start it by saying try and this at the end here we're going to say end try and then in between this try and end try is all of the code that's going to be executed and basically tried but what we need to do is add a catch so what we're going to say is catch ex as exception now this is going to declare ex as an exception basically that's that's what it is, it's just when there's an error, e EX is going to be created and that's the error. Now when we want the error to be messaged, we just say message box dot show ex dot message and that's just going to give a little message box saying okay here's the error. That's what happened. So if we build this again, go back to the the, firm, the folder and let's try and start whatever the exe I just get a little uh, message box the system cannot find the file specified so that's how you use the try and catch to deal with errors and make sure your application doesn't crash so let's say you're sending an email and if they enter the wrong credentials it's going to crash your application you can just add a try catch and an end try on your application and just have a little message box that show now, there are other ways you can deal with errors like error providers which is a tool you can use them um, but I'm not going to explain that because I don't really like error providers I think this way is much more simple and professional so whenever you, you're using code that could crash see like if if you type something here like dim and put a 1 in, instead of dim whatever as string it's going to give you an error here, but because that's because you've typed it wrong in the syntax. But in here, they, they can't really detect that text box one is not going to be an existing process to be started. If you know what I mean. Oops. So that's why we use a try and catch for all code that's going to be executed. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and if you have any questions on using try and catch, then please leave a comment. If you have any requests or suggestions, then leave a comment too and please rate the video and subscribe. Thanks.